the total lunar eclipse, or blood moon, attracted hundreds of visitors to the National Planetarium on Sunday night for its special observation program, with many arriving as early as 9 p.m. Families brought children for the experience, calling it an inspiring introduction to astronomy, while others described the rare sight as a reminder of divine power. Although cloudy skies obscured parts of the eclipse, the crowd managed to catch the penumbral phase around 11.30 p.m. A penumbral eclipse occurs during a full moon, when the Earth's shadow causes the moon to dim subtly. Five telescopes were made available to the public, including one dedicated to a live broadcast on the planetarium's social media channels. National Planetarium Director Mohammad Zamri Shah Master said total lunar eclipses are rare and highly anticipated events. Sebenarnya fenomena gerhana bulan penuh ini jarang berlaku ya. Yang berlaku sebelum ini pun pada 8 November 2022, lebih kurang 3 tahun yang lalu dan itu pun berlaku hanya sebentar selepas matahari terbenam. Pada kali ini ia berlaku di atas kepala kita tengah malam sehinggalah ke awal pagi 8 September 2025. Jadi satu tempoh yang panjang saya rasa ini adalah uh, perkara yang dinanti-nantikan juga oleh komuniti yang meminati astronomi untuk mereka mengambil peluang dan teleskop yang telah disediakan anda boleh saksikan permukaan bulan dengan kawah-kawahnya sebelum gerhana ini berlaku. He explained that the moon appears red because the earth blocks direct sunlight, allowing only refracted light through the atmosphere to reach its surface. The eclipse began at 11:28 p.m. with the penumbral phase peaked around 2 a.m. and ended just before 5 a.m.